Happy bets and analysis Thursday, October 17th, guys. 11 and 3 to start of the month of October. Last play, which I gave out for free on Tuesday. Cleveland plus one and a half did lose, guys. Plenty of opportunities and plenty of mistakes. You can't miss a fly ball in the first inning and expect to win a game in New York. And that happened. They lost a game. It happens, guys. I don't expect to win 100% of my plays. Typically, I win high 60s, low 70% of my plays. And today, we'll bounce back. Yesterday, I had no place. I took the day off. That's why there was no video. There was really one game. Mets, Dodgers. I wanted a way for today where there's multiple chances, multiple games that I could analyze and pick the best option. And I have it for today. And today, I will be placing the bet in this video right in front of you guys. And it's a winner. Now, I know we lost last time out, but you guys have been following. You guys know we've been profiting and making good money. If you guys just followed, welcome to the channel. I'll ask for in return, guys, for this analysis, for this video, for the money I'm going to make you guys in the next few weeks. It's for you to share the show with a couple buddies that do the same thing. Along with that, obviously, subscribe. Like and shoot a comment, whether it be negative or positive. If I lose, give it to me. If I win, celebrate with me. That's all I ask for. Now, today I have a big play, guys. NFL, I will not be touching. I think that Saints game has a lot of injuries. And it's more of a toss-up. And that line to me doesn't make sense. MLB has a lot of value. And then tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, we have a lot of football. 7-0 and run on my football plays, guys. And this weekend is big money. I've left below the week pass which is 50 percent off you guys do not want to miss on any of my plays lock that in so you don't miss out on the weekends plays remember i don't do this on the weekends lastly this is for you guys to put in your head to see if you guys would like this or not i'm debating doing a course a course that you know will take me time it'll probably take me a month or two to create where you guys learn my systems in and out it will be very affordable i'm not talking about thousand dollars it'll probably be 40 50 bucks i want to make it affordable and ready for all of you guys and if you guys are interested in that, just shoot me a message on Instagram that you're interested in the course. That way I get a head count as to how many people want to learn and it will determine if I make it or not. Cool. So let's get to today's analysis, guys. We got New York at Cleveland and LA at Mets. New York at Cleveland. Cleveland is in an elimination game, guys. They need to win this game. This is a do or die game for them. There is no tomorrow for them. They're going to have Emmanuel Classic pitching in the fifth inning if that needs to be done because they do not want to lose this game, guys. That's it, right? You cannot lose this game. Plain and simple. And at the end of the day, you have an interesting pitching matchup lined up for today. So we got Schmidt against Boyd. Line opened up at minus 118 for New York in Cleveland. Money and support is going to New York Yankees, guys. 70% of the bets and 67% of the handle is going to the New York Yankees right now. And the line is currently sitting at minus 120. Now let's break down this game, guys. New York versus Cleveland last 10 games, New York is dominant. They dominate this matchup 8-2-2. Now this year it's a little bit more different. The Yankees are still very dominant, but the Cleveland has picked up two wins, and one of them was at home, and believe it or not, one of them was with Mr. Boyd. Clark Smith has been pitching alright. Last time out he gave up two earned runs. He came back from an injury, and he's been a little bit back and forth. His earned runs over his last five are a little bit concerning, especially his last three. Three games ago against Baltimore, he gave up three earned runs. Two games ago, he gave up four in runs against Pittsburgh. And then last game versus Kansas City, he gave up two in runs and four innings pitched. So he's not pitching too many innings. He did face off against Cleveland this season in April. This was a long time ago, and he had not gotten injured. So he's not the same pitcher. And Cleveland got him for one run and five innings pitched, which is not that impressive for Cleveland. But this is a different pitcher, and he's not pitching the same. Matthew Boyd on the flip side has been pitching pretty well. Covers.com does not have him as a starter just yet. So we can go to BaseballReference.com and see his last couple of starts. And you see the big difference, right? Because you see the earned runs total. At least you see it right here. Last two games, he's giving up zero earned runs. Now, given his last start, it was two innings pitched, and the prior one, 4.2 innings pitched. But you look at his last six, seven games, and he's pitching around five to six innings pitched on average, giving up one to two runs on average max. Two games where he gave up two runs. Other than that, it was 0-0 zero, zero, and one across the board. This guy's a veteran. He was also injured. But a key stat that I want you guys to keep in mind about this pitching matchup is righty versus lefty. Yankees are a team that struggle versus lefty, and the data gives you that knowledge. 21 and 24 versus lefties this season, guys, for the Yankees. Versus versus right-handed, they're 78 and 45. So they dominate right-handed pitchers really well, but versus lefties, they're struggled. And it's something that I've taken advantage of all season with my community. Whenever the Yankees face a lefty, I typically fade them because they struggle against them, and they have a losing record against left-handed pitchers. A pro for Cleveland is that they're home. They're one of the best teams 
in the league playing at home and they're playing a right-handed pitcher which they do really well against at least better than the Yankees do against left-handed pitcher now to go beyond that guys when we look at the pitching versus the starting pitcher there's a couple of things that to me stand out and I'm going to show them to you right here versus Boyd there's a couple players in the Yankee team that have hit Boyd really well Volpe being one of them Trevino, which is not playing today, so that you got to factor out. Obviously, Soto has hit him really well, and Aaron Judge. Three players have hit Boyd really well in his career altogether. Now, when we look at New York batter stats, you see that predominantly they dominate righties. There's only three players that hit lefties a lot better than they hit righties in this team. That's Volpe, that's Soto, and Judge as well. So those are three key players that obviously make and break the Yankees team, especially Soto and Judge. Now, when we look at Cleveland on the flip side, there's a lot more angles to this game. At least there's four key players that have hit Schmidt, and those four key players are Jimenez, Quan, Naylor, and obviously your boy Jose Ramirez, which I believe he's going to have a big game today. That home run in that ninth inning didn't help us at all last game, but it's going to give him momentum for this game going at home in a big, big game. So altogether, guys, I'm seeing a situation where money and support is going to the Yankees. The line is really staying the same. Pitching matchups favors the Cleveland Guardians due to the fact that they have a lefty on the mound. And all around over the last five, six, seven games, he's pitching a lot better. The Cleveland Guardians have also seen Schmidt a lot better than the Yankees have seen Boyd. Cleveland is at home. They're in an elimination game. A big game, guys. Like, they do not want to lose this game. Plain and simple. They're going to, again, have Emmanuel Classic pitch in the fifth if it needs to be done for them to not lose this game. So, altogether for me, we have a situation where I like Cleveland in this situation at home. I do. And we're going to look at it a little bit further for earned runs because we want to know what Vegas has in mind in regards to these players, right? At the end of the day, we can look at data. But Vegas has their own data and the lines they make are there for a reason, right? So when we look at earned runs, they do got Clark Smith going over one and a half at minus 135 versus Matthew Boyd at minus 120. So they do have Clark Smith predicted to give up more runs. And along with that too, let's see hits. Along with that too, they haven't projected to give up more hits and by a good amount. Over three and a half at minus 150 versus over three and a half at plus 130. The plus 130 is underdogs for Matthew Boyd to give up more than three and a half runs. The three and a half over for Schmidt is favorite. So altogether, scared money makes no money. I know betting against the Yankees is something that not a lot of you guys like to do, like not betting against the Dodgers. We did it Monday, but at the end of the day, we find value and we bet it. It's all numbers, not emotions, and I do like the Guardians to win this game. Guardians money line plus $100, $5,000 to win $5,000 on the dot. The best been placed on the Hard Rock app, a real app, a real ticket, a real professional, guys. I do this every single day for you guys. Not a lot of people can do this. No will do this. And put the money where their mouth is every single day in front of you guys and show you the tickets the next day, showing whether they won or lost. And that's what I do, guys. If you guys appreciate that, again, all I ask for in return is for you to share the show so we can grow organically, not buying bots like 99% of these people. And I'll continue making this video. That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and let's make it 12 and 3.